day five um, and we're in Belfast. Well, we're not in yet. We were meant to, I didn't check the thing. I thought we were getting in reasonably early and I know it's a long day in Belfast, but guess what? We're not in till 11, half 11 and I've booked the Titanic Museum for 11. So let's just hope, I've mailed them. Let's just hope they have let me um, change the time and let us go in this afternoon because that was the plan to go to the Titanic Museum and then we booked lunch at 12.15 at the Great Room. Um, looks really nice because it's my birthday today so we wanted to do something special. We wanted to have the day planned out and already that's gone a little bit bit down the drain. But I'm sure that the Titanic Museum will let us change it to this afternoon so we'll get straight off, go for lunch, um, have a wander around and then go to the Titanic Museum because we're here till nine o'clock tonight. So yeah, we're just sailing in now. Windy out there, get blown away. Um, yeah, and then tonight we're in Wonderland. So, moral of the story, Julia, is always check. Um, always check the your port times. You should know this by now. Getting a collection of um, towel animals down here. All my um, equipment. Um, and this is for tomorrow. When I've got loads of chocolate and stuff to give out around the boat. It's so expensive, things like chocolate on here. I know it's a little treat. So, I mean, we prepaid the tips before we got on. That's all done. But then also we've been tipping people at meal times and certain drink people. Anyone who gives goes that little bit beyond, we've been giving them a little bit of tip here and there. And also get loads of nice chocolate. And just give out chocolate as a nice little, well, just a thank you. Um, so we're gonna do that when we're at sea tomorrow. Go around and give everybody chocolate. <laughs> Um, yeah, so that's the plan of action. Oh, teaspoons are... For some reason, they put the teaspoons inside bags, must be to, again, COVID. And there is, for those people who like a cup in the morning, tea and coffee making facilities here, which is, which is nice. So, um, Belfast Port, you can... From the reading, I'll let you know how it goes. You can walk in in about 15 minutes, but they don't advise it. I think it's going to be an industrial port again. Or they do a shuffle bus, I think for, I think it was 15 pounds return going there and back all day and, and drops us off at different points inside. Or you can get a taxi. I think we're going to get a taxi because it will take us straight to where we need to go and then we'll orientate ourselves back. Okay, so I'm not insane. I was thinking, how did I manage to book the Titanic for 11 when we weren't getting in till 11? But it, apparently it's to do with the tides. We were maybe getting in at nine, and now the captain has changed it to 11, half 11, and yeah, there's a few disgruntled people on the boat. I just thought I was in um, forgetful, but no. So it has been a time change, so I'm sure the Titanic Museum will just let us move the... Um, ticket around, can't see it being a problem. But if somebody, I suppose that they're, they're gonna have to reorganize all the coach trips and everything, won't they? Talking to myself. Sorry, darling. <laughs> so, I, I said they'll have to change all the coach trips and everything, won't they? Yeah. Yeah, all well, everybody waiting and everybody, and what people have got, people coming to meet them and stuff. Oh, I suppose it can't be out to If it's tides, it's tides. We're in Belfast, so the port's a bit, yeah, they say you can walk out the port, but it's not advisable. I suppose it's right down over there. I can see Ikea and stuff in the distance, so you can do it. Oh, there's an airplane, obviously quite near Belfast Airport, which is where p is in too. There we are. But we've got off and just ordered an Uber straight away to where we want to go. So. What's it saying now? About 11 minutes. 11 minutes. So, it. yeah, maybe if you can order it, maybe, I don't know, you know the pickup, maybe order it sort of when you're on the boat. Yeah, I guess you could, but you don't yeah. know how quick you're going to get on yeah, there, yeah. do you? Yeah, yeah, Don't you think it's a little bit odd? What? That you come off the boat. I know, and there's, there's no taxi. taxis. I know, there's a really long taxi list waiting for the taxi rank. So I think it's, the moral of the story is probably pre-book a taxi to pick you up. 
Yeah. If you need to go anywhere, it's just just nice, or use the shuttle bus. Taxis, isn't it? Yeah. Well, we don't know how big Belfast is, do we? Yeah, it might be. But... You can live 20 minutes. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Uh, I'll sit here. Yeah. Okay, with your jackets, I can hang those for you. I'm going to keep mine on for a minute, but thank you. Because I've got no sleeves. I like sleeves. <laughs> This. So we're in the Merchant Hotel in Belfast. Look at that. They've got a, like a uh, like a ladder over the dome, so you can clean it. Here. Thank you. You're very welcome, of course. How was your day so far today? And Excellent. Perfect. Did you get up to something as far? Or were just no, we just got off the boat. We've just come out on the cruise ship. Yeah. Oh, I'm oh, here. So, we're going to have three courses, and they actually do wine pairings for us off the menu, so that's great. And apparently, you're saying it's got a really amazing cocktail menu, so we have to have a cocktail later as well. Irish and French cheese, that we can't do it. That's lovely. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Thank you. So you definitely know their menu and their wines because they've paired it all really nicely, haven't they? What you want. Dave's on the Guinness. That's a poshish Guinness I've seen, look. I know. I, 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 gave, I just gave up after halfway through. I need to know what I fancy afterwards. All time. All of the deal are so kind of great. For the lamb, we'll have the tartonata al dolce on the bottom of it, which will be served with over 30 ingredients to save my life. So we tell you that's exactly it. <laughs> Along with that, of the goat cheese, the lamb itself, of course, with all the water. Please enjoy. Have a lovely meal. Fabulous. Thank, Thank you. you. Looks amazing. Really and the you can have it. Smells gorgeous, doesn't it? Doesn't it? For the table, so cauliflower gratin with the parmesan on top, and all of the broccoli with almonds for the second. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. I have all of the Madeira jus for for the table as well. That will be served with some truffles. Can I pour it for you, Yes, please. Thank you. Thank you. You're very welcome. Okay. Some for yourself as well. Please, thank you. How about yourself, sir? Yes, sir, please. It smells lovely, doesn't it? Yeah, I imagine that. I don't know how that looks, though, isn't it? Yummy. So you have all the explanation and all of the ingredients which are, of course, are being made with just on the bottom of the list itself. And that's one of the reasons why it took so long because no, I was always. thinking. And please remember, whenever it comes to the amount of wine itself, we are here to serve you, not to judge, so don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, I'm done, I'm <laughs> it's fine. Anything, anything else I can do for you? No, no it's lovely. Okay. Thank Perfect. you. Please enjoy. Have a lovely meal. Oh my god, there's no way that's
Good luck, Dave. Oh, who's going to eat this with me then, Dave? So we've got every cocktail on the side and it tells you the flavour and what glass it's in. And at the back... Yeah. And at the back it gives you a description of all the glasses, so which one, do, what glass do you want to drink out of? A croupette? Birthday cocktail, it's still beautiful there, isn't it? Look. Is that your finds? <laughs> um, The Merchant Hotel, so coming out the front door, so you know where it is. What street was this on? Is what street was this on? Um, Skip, Skippy, Skipton, Skipton Street, wasn't it? Look at that, beautiful. So nice. Oh, that's, yeah, Skip, Skip, Skipper Street. Skip, that's it, Skip Street. So we've got to find that clock, a wonky St. George's monument clock. like one meter yeah I think I oh it's there look yeah so we go up to there and then we need to go where's the river okay. so this monument here they call it the Belfast Tower I oh, like Pisa Tower because it's like 1.67 meters skewed, like wonky. They built the foundations on some form of wood. The taxi driver was telling me that then crumbled. No, it's a no, it's a slant. Quarter 1.2 meters from first court. The situation caused by this girl for Yeah, French Bulldog, that's French Bulldog. So there's the museum. What, what, what? From the town, we were pretty much in the centre of town. 20 minutes. 15, nice. 20 minutes. Yeah. Walk off lunch. Nice. What's that? No, Maddox, I think it's just like it's an empty sh Head flag. Right. 
three tickets for 58 pounds so like 99 yeah 20 quid each really so it's not bad and they were quite good today because i put boat coming early they were just yeah just change them when you want to come so that was good oh you can just put your tickets up here i just put them off first so you don't need to go and buy your tickets again cool. in our finest shipyard by our most skilled craftsmen. Great Leviathans acting as ambassadors for the Empire. British ships built with American money. <laughs> Whatever's well, the world coming to? That's not for the likes of you and I to wonder, James. I don't suppose either of us will ever be privileged to travel in such magnificent surroundings. Right, so it's five o'clock, just back on board. The going out, we went right into the town centre and it cost, including tip, what 15 it was 11 pound so we gave them 15 so that's fine on the way out because you sort of went around the houses to get right into the town centre the um titanic museum is literally literally along like that i would say a mile and a half maybe two miles along the port where we put in it is literally all the docklands isn't yeah. it it's along yeah. the port and coming back was seven pounds so we gave them a tenner so it's a lot closer but I wouldn't advise walking any of it because it really is just literally industrial wasteland. I guess you have to then consider if you're a family of three and it's like, I don't know, $15 a head for yeah, their yeah. shuttle service and you've got to wait for it in the rest. I think it's yeah. a... Very good, thank you. Yeah, it's $15 return anyway on the shuttle, so... Sure. Thank so you. Happy birthday. Huh? Ah, thank you. It's my birthday. Happy birthday. Selamat ulang tahun. Ah, bless you. In the Indonesian language. Oh, bless you. Thank you. Yeah. So I you wanna? Forgot it's my birthday then. Yeah. <laughs> In Indonesia. Same drink, same drink, or the? Uh, yeah, I have the orange martini, juice, same like. No, I'll have a chocolate martini, please, Indy. Okay. So. Chocolate martini and what is it again? Orange gin and slim lime, please, oh, indeed. Orange gin and slim lime. And uh, Stella? Please. Right. Oh, can I have a water as well, please, indeed? Yes, thank you. Oh, yeah, I have one too, please, thank you. I know, FOMO. So yeah, if there's three of you or four of you or whatever, even over two of you, it works you out said, cheaper to get taxis. You converted the dollars as the exchange yeah. rate is today. You'd be saying for, well, for three of you, forty-five dollars is thirty-three quid. Glass ice for this? No, no, you're fine. So, so and we've paid including tips, 15, 25. So it's definitely cheaper to and get a taxi and we, with the tips, and you can go to A to B exactly where you want than it is to get the shuttle bus. So that's worked out okay. But yeah, I wouldn't walk it. You can walk it. But it's, 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 it's just wasteland with nothing there. If you're going into the city centre and mm. then you're going to the Titanic Museum or vice versa, that's a quite an easy walk. 
Yeah, for, oh, for the for the oh, city centre to the yeah. Titanic Museum, yeah, definitely walk it. That wasn't minutes. different difficult at all. It's just it's just we're sort of a little bit out. We're probably about a mile, two miles out, aren't we? Along from the Titanic Museum along the coast. So I loved it. It was really good. Um, um, so you would have seen in the video we went to the Birchland Hotel in the Grand Grand Room Restaurant or the Grand Hall Restaurant. Oh, um, oh uh, we the Great Hall. The Great Hall. We had three courses each. Uh, we had wine pairing with the dinner. We had with desserts port um, flights, so three little ports each. Dave had two, three Guinnesses. Yeah, two Guinnesses, but once that it got a bit flat, they just gave you another Guinness as well. The whole lot, hundred and two hundred and fifteen pounds between three hours. I think that's well. including tip. I think that is really reasonable. Everything, everything, two hundred fifteen. I thought that was. I'm really dark here. I think that was really good, personally. Yeah. And the and the food was amazing. The service was amazing. It was um. Yeah, I totally, really recommend it. Julia, happy birthday, Julia. Happy birthday, Julia. You have five roses. Five roses. Oh, <laughs> brilliant. Oh, look at Thank it. Thank you. Amazing. You have to take this. Oh, nicely happy birthday, Julia. <gasps> no. Take picture, take picture. Take only picture. only oh the bartender God. could make that intro. No one else in the fleet could make that. Right, so a quick turnaround today. 15 minutes in and out. Um, yeah, Wonderland at 8. What an amazing day. Belfast is lovely. We're still here. We're here till 9 o'clock at night because I'm seeing the buses coming in and out. Belfast has been lovely. Um, don't think we've seen too much of it, but what we saw, we really liked. Um, Come back in the stuff, amazing as per ever. Oh, so good. So, and now back out for birthday evening. Let's see how it goes. Oh, God, don't get tired. I can't, when, I, when I've been out all day, oh, look, the airport is literally, well, I can't really, probably just see this here. The airport, that's the runway, literally. So this big building is sort of here, that's the airport. So port is right next to the airport. But when I've been out all day, and then you have a few drinks and lunch, I feel like I get really tired. So if I settle down now, I won't want to go out again. So you gotta keep moving. Keep keep going. Keep doing it. So So I've been into um been in Belfast so late, they must lose money on the shops because the shops are not open or anything, can they? to take a picture. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <I> <laughs> Thank you. So my lovely people, welcome to Wonderland. Thank you. Thank you. Right, so we have the whole table to ourselves. When I say the whole table, this is our table. It literally is like the whole table. And guess what? All this table space. You know what Dave's moaning about? Do you not have the big chair, Dave? No. <laughs> <laughs> if you 
like, I can change my No, 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 it's going to be flickery in here because of the light. Hello! Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. How are good? I, I can smell tonight. the bear's nest. Yeah, sorry. sorry. <laughs> I believe tonight I'm going to be your guide throughout oh. your magical culinary dining experience. Thank you. Are you okay with the camera? I'm an artist. <laughs> so I'm uh, from the Philippines. My name is Carl. Yes. I'm gonna be you guys tonight throughout your magical culinary dining experience. I believe Julia, Elizabeth, and David. Yes, Correct. indeed. So you've been here in Wonderland before? Yeah. Yes. Well, we oh, have. Oh. He hasn't. Yeah. We can come on. We come on July. Came here in July. July? But he, he didn't come, yeah. Oh. Yeah, so. we left him at home then. Okay. He's allowed to come now. <laughs> you know the menu. But he hasn't allowed a yeah. big chair. You know the menu more, more than me. <laughs> <That's> Probably. <right. laughs> <laughs> so, let me just follow the match. Okay. And One, two, and three. Woohoo! Make it disappear. Oh, not enough alcohol. I'll be back for more. <laughs> But wait, but Dave's like, Dave's... With cranberry, grapefruit, vodka. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I leave something for you, okay? Oh, you're the same one as me, do you? Oh, where's his? He's going to miss his smoking. Yeah, smoke ring. He's gonna... gone to the toilet, he's going to miss it. <laughs> so we're, we're going to open it later on. Oh, yeah. when he comes back. Thank you. When he came. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. Oh. You can do it. Okay, waiting no, for you. Wait, 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 we're waiting for you. <laughs> yeah, but sir, you can do the magic, yeah? You just open it. One, two, and three. Yes. Oh, it's that out there. Oh, sorry. Yeah. And one, two, and three. Voila. He smells smoke. So you won't be eating that. Yeah. Oh, that is nice for you. Yeah. I guess what we smoke. Thank you. There you go. That crab comes. No, that's like a car or I think there's something. Yeah, some sort of popcorn. So I think. Oh, I love this one. This is the shrimp. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's fast. That's like the best one. The shrimp? I like them all though. Yes, yes, it's all edible. You can eat all of it. Thank you. It smells gorgeous. So that must be a liquid lobster. Yeah. That's a li that's a liquid risotto then. Yeah. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, what we have on your table? We have the bird's nest. Yes, the one in the middle. The bird's nest is edible because it's made of Katai Pido. Katai Pido originally from the Middle East. So basically you can see this as a decoration with our dessert to make it beautiful. But tonight, the chef put a little salt and deep fried it to make it crispy. Hard boiled, eh? Inside we have Tabasco, spicy mayo, tap it up with sriracha and Tempura breadcrumbs. Lovely. The last touch is cocoa powder. Everything is really good except the plate. <laughs> <laughs> and then it is partnered with our shrimp kataipi. Originally, it's like um, marinated with lime, 
wrapped with katay pido as well and sitting under is scotch bonnet foam also known as the hottest one oh. scotch bonnet yeah and in the middle we have the crab foam in wonderland we call it green ice cream green ice cream but <laughs> in wonderland the ice cream is not here because of the wasabi there's a piece size underneath oh wasabi in the that middle we have the jambulang crab mixed with spices on the top we have avocado puree nice all right on your right hand side we have the spoon right Lovely. this is the shooter from the element of earth and sea the main course line look at that very small yeah, yeah, yeah. But tonight, you know, it is amazing because it's <laughs> yes, so much. So sorry for that. Yeah. The liquid lobster is also known as the little pocket in heaven, secret pocket in heaven, because it has bone marrow inside. Yes, with caviar on the top and finished with lobster bris. The other one is our liquid risotto. Yeah. The white pearl that you saw there. Yeah. Yes, the white pearl there is the. It's purified rice or risotto. The big pearl is our purified mushroom. So once you have that straight up, it's gonna be popping in your mouth. You're gonna feel the explosion of flavors. <laughs> and lastly, the one that she brought, the reconstructed sumero from the element of sun. Recon yes, the reconstructed migos. The one in the middle, the chef took out the seed and the peel and wrapped it up with a cheesecloth and reconstruct it again. Excellent. Because we produce the tomato water of this, the press it, and it sits under two kinds of cheeses, bocacini and blue cheese marine. We also have the kalamata and manzanilla olives. Also spare pies that will pop in your mouth. You can have it in three ways. Tomato coolies with basil and with kalamata powder. Ladies and gentlemen, please. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bon appetit. So there is no there is no order actually. growing in front of you. So the soil that we use is pumpernickel bread with pumpkin seed and truffle oil to combine. And we also have the baby vegetable of course, paragus, carrot, red beets, red beets and yellow beets. But you can see there's a stone. Right? <laughs> yeah. You know that? You remember that? It's a chicken liver pate coated with cocoa Hershey powder balance the flavor and cream fresh yuzu heavy citrus fabulous thank Maybe. you please enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> you're very confused huh? <laughs> very confused very confused <laughs> uh, yeah unusual right you, you can still uh need more dessert uh, appetizer no, no, no more no, thank you, thank you. Oh, sure yeah. <laughs> wow thank you Oh, that's a chicken. That's a chicken. Oh. Yeah. There's no eggs in there. Just make it look like eggs. Oh, thank you. Amazing. And it's just the curse, you For you, brownies. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> what we have here. Okay. So we have the pork, beef, and the chicken. The pork, ruffling pork, is sitting under celery root remoulade. Yes, and around it we have apple sauce. On the top of the pork, we have dried apple. Yes, it's apple chips. And finished with our kale, deep fried as well. And the sauce would be pink peppercorn sauce. Fabulous, lovely. Okay. Amazing, sir, because it's marinated with red wine. A lot. Uh. Yes, sir. <laughs> It is placed until five to eight hours. Oh, very Minimum good. five hours, maximum eight hours. The condiments are around. We have the yellow bit. We have apple sauce, pumpkin puree, and we also have a red bit relish. Around the tomato, mashed potato. Your sauce would be borderless sauce, red wine reduction. Excellent. Chicken and egg. Oh yeah, yes. chicken and egg. Don't forget it. Because the chicken is with egg, sunny side up and hard boiled egg. But that is not a real egg. 
It is made of um, spurification of pumpkin and cauliflower puree. Do you think you can eat that, Dave? He's got a phobia of eggs. Yeah, I will eat. I will eat it. Don't worry. <laughs> it's, it's delicious, especially when you we dip it in the juniper berry sauce on the side. Oh, fabulous! Thank, Thank you, you so much. And the mashed much. potato is different, distinct flavor with nutmeg and cinnamon. Really? Yeah. Amazing. It's like chicken lying on the beach. Oh. <laughs> Please enjoy. Bon Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Into a pot and then sort it out from there. They'll be able to move them on the ship. <gasps> Look at this that is apple. the forbidden apple, yes. Forbidden apple. So, red, oh, this one we had before. Yeah. Right. yeah and this is the, the world. Look, Look at that apple, one. though. Yeah, Get out of my way, No. <laughs> yeah, look at an apple, yes. Yeah. It's not real apple. So, this is a surprise dessert. Mm -hmm. We're going to reveal what's inside using our. Hot caramel sauce. One, two, and three. Just the perfect amount. Yes. Ta-da! So what's inside? We have the salted caramel ice cream sitting under chocolate mousse. But inside the chocolate mousse, we have peanut butter and creme brulee. Gosh, <laughs> And this one? has three kind of mousses, blackberry, raspberry, and black currant. <laughs> also have a lemon curd and dakwa coconut cook, oh. together with our yogurt ice cream. And that one, pistachio mousse, it's red because of raspberry glaze on the top. And the stem would be our pavlova, and the soil is red velvet. Ice cream is mango sherbet ice cream. Ah, yes. Thank you Enjoy. so much. <laughs> What is that? <laughs> They're all like me. No, no. Yeah, I'll See, it. hold the video. Let me, let me hold it for you. I'll be here. Alright, Julia. Let's uh, go. What do I do? Happy birthday, yeah? Huh? Happy, happy birthday, birthday, Julia. Everybody, please sing happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Julia. Happy birthday, happy what birthday, is Julia! <laughs> happy birthday, Julia! Just push this one. What? Oh, what a shame! What is in this? This is actually alcohol. Alcohol, all alcohol. <laughs> oh, who wants a drink? Hey! Want who wants a drink? <laughs> Marina, happy birthday! Another nice, absolutely amazing night. The staff on here, I mean, they are so amazing to me. They are brilliant. Everywhere we've gone has treated us like gold. We've got two more days now at sea. So I'm going to go around and look after everybody. But oh, it's been amazing. It's so much fun. Tired. Look at my roses. And my notes. See my roses and my notes. I've kept them. And they're all going back with me. They're in a box. So, yeah, what's the time? Half past... Hmm, half past 12. So, it isn't my birthday anymore, so maybe I should go to sleep. But, yeah, we've had a, like, a reasonable quiet. It's been quiet today, because everybody who's normally playing is not playing. So, it's been a little bit of a disjointed day, but I really enjoyed it. So, yay! Yay, night! Tomorrow.